Hey guys, how's it going? My name is MKid75. Welcome to the Exotic Comparison Series. This is episode 4 of season 1! Just a few things before I say, before I begin. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to me on YouTube. I want to thank everybody for their support, whether it be on YouTube, live streams, or the videos. You guys are all amazing! Before every comparison video, I give a warning slash advisory, so here we go. Please advise. I am not a know-it-all genius of destiny. These videos were made to compare and mainly to contrast different exotics of the same type. Every guardian is entitled to their own opinion, and there is no actual winner due to how others base their playstyle of the guns. Thank you, and enjoy the video. So, in today's video, we have Red Death facing off against the Bad Juju. Both are non-elemental primary pulse rifles that are very unique to Destiny Universe. Let's begin with Red Death. Red Death. Kinetic damage. Red Death, exotic perk. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads. Unflinching. Snapshot. High caliber rounds, single point sling, minimum light of 280, maximum light of 335, has a rate of fire of 66 out of 100, impact 14 out of 100, range 33 out of 100, stability 51 out of 100, reload 76 out of 100, and features a magazine size of 27. Red Death made its start of terror in the Destiny base game. It is regarded as one of the best guns in the game in both PvP and PvE. What makes Red Death so special is that it is a 3 burst pulse rifle that upon any kill, no matter if it's precision or body, it will regenerate your health. In the pulse rifle buff slash nerf, Red Death was a go-to for Iron Banana and Trials of Osiris. It is still used, but not as much. Red Death can be acquired through raids, nightfall, strikes, can come from legendary primary or exotic primary engrams and even acquired through Lord Shacks and Trials of Osiris bounties. It can be also acquired from exotic kiosk, the exotic kiosk and bought by Zur. Captured zone B. You're in the lead. Enemy captured zone A. behind gained the lead zone C neutralized zone B lost enemy captured zone B lost the lead someone get a shaman because it's time for bad juju bad juju <clears throat> Full auto, hit fire, armor piercing rounds, send it, perfect balance. String of curses, exotic perk. After each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and decrease damage for a short time. Kills will help charge your super. Minimum light of 280, maximum light of 335. Rate of fire 73 out of 100, impact 7 of 100, range 33 of 100, Stability 62 out of 100, reload 65 out of 100, and it features a 24 round magazine. The Bad Juju 
made its debut inside the base game of Destiny through an exotic questline given by Xander called Poland's Legacy. It is well known it is a well known gun that is fairly balanced in crucible. For killing and not oh, gaining super energy like a madman. PvE, it, it is oh an ammo saving kills. super gaining machine. Hi Juju, how you doing? The bad Juju can be acquired through raids, nightfall, strikes, Hi, come Juju, from legendary primary or exotic primary yeah, in games. Acquired through Lord Shacks, Trials of Osiris, the exotic kiosk, and can Everybody's be bought by. Hi Juju, how you doing? <laughs> They got nerfed right. pr prior to the. The hunter got nerfed, and I'm a primary hunter player. Right. In fact, I play on all got three characters. Again. Yeah, I've been playing on all three, and honestly, they're probably more even now than they have ever been. And hammers. No, not just hammers. A striker used to have a massive blast radius. Uh, the grenades used to like the lightning grenades used to bend toward people and I shit. I think lightning grenades and storm grip are both a little <clears> much, <throat> but. So now that we have our stats and facts out of the way, we must have some external input on these guns. I have bought in my closest friends for one final episode. So here they are to give their two cents. Let's begin with Hammer Hazard. For this comparison, I was a tad bit irritated, mostly because it's, my, it's comparing my first exotic to the exotic that I never got. For starters, Bad Juju was my very first exotic in Destiny history. And during year one, or before Taken King, it was pretty average. However, once Taken King was released, it was way above average, mostly because of String of Curses. Saying once you get a kill, the gun auto-reloads for you. Now, on the flip side of things, Red Death was the gun that I wanted before Destiny was even released. I did re my research, and that was the gun I wanted. Sadly, I never got it. I got just about all other exotics but my unicorn being red death however it is still a very powerful gun because of its main perk of red death when you get a kill the gun will heal you and speed up your reload so i believe that is the deciding factor in this comparison my winner is red death here's what the american cow had to say red death clearly has the advantage in this comparison one of the most important things in a first person shooter is heal and Red Death allows the user to heal after the kill. In PvE, the Red Death allows for almost constant health regeneration as small adds just feed the weapon, allowing players to keep themselves alive. The Bad Juju also allows players to keep shooting if they kill an ad. However, this option is far more greedy and it opens the player to be killed. In PvP, Red Death shines as in the end of most gunfights are low health points. Red Death allows them to heal and engage more enemies. Bad Juju will refill the mag, but once again leaves you at a health point disadvantage. In the end, Red Death provides utility of life, which I believe is greater benefit in the long run. So, where do I stand? Both pulse rifles are extremely good in all areas of the game. Red Death can constantly heal upon kills, while Bad Juju can decrease the time of your super by a noticeable margin with each kill, not to mention the ammo regeneration and no reloadability of String of Curses. In Year 2 Destiny, we saw Red Death dominate the Crucible alongside the likes of Nerwin's Mercy, Bad Juju, and the Smite of the Moraine. In PV, I believe that Bad Juju still has that edge that compels guardians that supers are essential to the game. In Crucible we see guardians getting kills, capturing adjustments, dismantling probes to gain super energy. Bad Juju in my opinion wins because although heal regen is important, the Neo super ammo and minimal reloads is more essential to defeat the darkness. Well guys, thanks for watching. Tell me which gun you liked more and tell me if you're ready for the Rise of Iron. I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Adios.